at safety, number 23, Will Coger. Number 23, Luke Koger, already with a couple of blocks to his credit. Granted, being in preseason, but he can fly through. So keep an eye here on number 23, licking his chops for this one. Here they come. Oh, Koger got enough height, but just couldn't get a piece of the ball, but didn't really matter because he affected it as it goes out of bounds inside the Pirates' own 20-yard line. Spotted all the way down to the 17 where the Grizzlies will take over with plenty of time to get another one in the end zone before halftime. Yeah, 17 yard punt went right out of bounds. I think Canterbury was a little nervous on that one. Couldn't get a good hit on it. Long count from Smith. Looking to throw it. He's got time. Good protection. Loads one up. Intercepted by Koger. Luke Koger stepping up from his free safety position and picks it off, and the ball's going to be at the 35-yard line, and the Mile High Grizzlies are in business. Well, the uh, Pirates' offensive line gave the quarterback a lot of time there. The quarterback had all day to make a completed pass, and uh, he threw it pretty much right to number 23, Luke Koger, for the Grizzlies. Uh, really no excuse for that pass. Second down, about a yard and a half to go. Here's the gift to, that's York again, York's. Boy, he is shifty, isn't he? Oh, I tell gets you. it outside, turns the corner, and gets it up to the 30-yard line. I believe he got enough for the first down. I think he did. He should have. He almost got brought back down in the uh, the backfield. I think number 46 had him almost tied up. Of course, Eric Purcell finally, Luke Koger finished him off. But like uh, Darren said, not before. I think a first down might have been gained here for the Cobras. Cobras need something. There's the play action to Yorks. Good oh. pressure again. Oh, that's picked off. Is that Koger with the ball? I think it is. It is. Luke Koger, the free safety, number 23, still on his feet. And Koger with his second interception of the year. Returns it inside the Cobra's territory to about the 34-yard line, and the Grizzlies back in business. Horn really uh, not able to get off a good ball. Kind of kind of batted around there. Koger comes up with it, and again, the Grizzlies offense comes out with a terrific position. Now here's Horn back in the game, so that's good to see. Launches it deep. And Koger, oh, I thought he had it picked off, but it falls through his hands, incomplete. Looking to go there for number nine, Justin Jones. And uh, Jones covered quite nicely there by uh, Deontay Waldrop. And like Darren said, Koger almost came around with another pick. Uh, it would have been his second of the ball game. Wildcat formation again, Harris running the helm. Again, making the first guy miss and then just getting taken down. I believe that was Laflam in on the tackle. I think so, yeah, Laflam, I think Koger up there also to kind of stop the uh, progression. And just underway here in the second quarter. Single back formation. There's a give to Harris. Makes a nifty move and he's in for the score and takes a hammer job in the end zone from Luke Koger. Now motion man far side number 31 give again to Will Hoyt. He's been the workhorse. Finds a nice hole and exploits it. First down yardage again for the Wolfpack. And now trailing 22 nothing with just under eight minutes to go. They're uh, they're needing something pretty desperately up on the board. Now here's the gift of Livingstone again, making a couple of guys miss. Boy, he is shifty. Nice spin move, a la Terrell, Terrell Davis, and tackled down before he can get first down yardage. But again, a nice run by Livingstone. Absolutely, a couple of juke moves and a couple of, uh, spin moves to get away from tacklers. And finally, Luke Coger coming up from the safety spot, able to to uh, sling Livingstone down to the ground. And he's got trips to the left. Rolling far side, looking to throw, and he launches, and that's intercepted! That's Koger, and Koger, we were talking to before the game, he wanted one, and we said he's probably gonna get his chance, he took advantage of it there, and the Grizzlies with two turnovers in his mini series range. Absolutely, you had Everett rolling out to the left. Pressure came up there from number 18, Taylor Rivera, getting up into uh, James Everett's face. Everett uh, let one go. I'm not sure if he was quite ready to let it go, but he fired it downfield, and there was Luke Koger. And like you said, we saw Luke uh, d as we just pulled into town, and he, he was hoping that Everett would uh, be firing some passes downfield, and he, he was hoping for a pick, and he got one there. Everett back in shotgun, ball spotted at the 44-yard line. Here's the give to Oldham. No, it's play action. And Everett's going to keep it on the option. Flag it down in the backfield. Here comes another one as Everett goes out of bounds, tackled by Koger near the 30. Three wide receiver set. Keep an eye on number 13 at the bottom of your screen, Purify. Clay in motion, play action. Looking for Clay, no, it is Groggins and a great catch. Happened to go out for that one 
Oh, man. Goggins finding some, some room to work with over the middle again. Gets up into the secondary, and Luke Koger, we're glad to see he's back in the game, but again, Koger has to come up and make the tackle. But I tell you, it's been all flames here in the second quarter. Now the gift to Clay, the shifty one, number five. He's got some room to roam far side and just takes a hit by Luke Koger. Koger coming up from the safety. A little bit uh, upset, I think, with, first of all, being down 14-3, to three, but also, you know, I think still trying to clear out some of them cobwebs that he had from that uh, smackdown with oh. him and Kate McBride. But, boy, Clay uh, took the punishment there. Now Clay in motion near side, pitch to Oldham. Oldham sweeping right. He's got all kinds of room. Busts open a hole and gets it down inside the 10-yard line, and a late flag comes in. Oldham picking up great blocking there from the receivers out there on the outside, blowing open holes for him. Again, getting up into the secondary where, where Koger and Purcell had to take him down. But certainly the, uh, the best of the league out here. Now Everett just showing all kinds of moves in the backfield, getting himself free, still alive, and chased down near midfield by Luke Koger. The Wolfpack back in business while right at the 30-yard line. Here's Hall looking to throw, delivers it over the middle, and deflected and intercepted by Luke Koger coming the other way. And cuts it up inside, protecting the ball, and another turnover. And the Grizzlies with the ball. Boy, Lane Hart just does not look very comfortable back there, quarterback in here for the Colorado Wolfpack. Koger comes up with a nice pick, uh, kind of is gets the benefit of it getting uh, batted around before it finally found its way into Koger's arms, and uh, Luke does a, a fine job of making some, some good yardage. Two wide receivers to the far side, single back. Play action fake, Lechuga putting it up, downfield, caught! And another first down catch for the Denver Titans, number 17. Yeah, I think that was Ananobi again. I think Koger riding about out of bounds. Now we'll see a heavy dose of the running game here from the Titans, give off to the tailback, lots of room to roam as he is tackled out of bounds, stopping the clock by Luke Koger. And at safety, number 23, Luke Koger. 